Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? I hope you're all well. Um, so I know that I've been slacking off on my uh, videos and it's because I've been super busy with kids and school and husband, he, uh, he left his job that was taking him out of town and went back to uh, his old job at the does landscaping now so he's not out of town anymore which is good for me I'm happy about that I'm glad that he's home every night um, the only thing that sucks is he has to leave at like 6 30 in the morning and comes home at 3 and he's home for about an hour and a half two hours and he leaves and has to go back from like 6 to 8 30 9 o'clock so anyway I was gonna do a little product review of the things that um, I used here for the first you know month or so and um, just kind of give people an idea of uh, what they might need or what you might need and um, if you're fixing to have your dentures um, or your teeth done I'm sorry guys I'm exhausted I have been having some severe insomnia and I haven't able to sleep so thought if I did a video and made myself stay awake I might sleep tonight so probably wind up taking a nap but I am tired so let's get on with the product review. The first thing I want to review is the cushion grip. I tell you what, I love, love, love this stuff. And there's several reasons why I like it, but the main one being it makes my teeth fit better. I don't use it really as an adhesive because I have to use my regular adhesive with the cushion grip. My only complaint about this is that it takes forever to get off. Um, I'm afraid to get the water too hot because I don't want to warp my dentures, but I let the water get pretty hot and it still takes me about 5-10 minutes to get it off of both plates. So, But this stuff, I gotta find some more because I cannot believe this is going, being discontinued. It's just crazy. I went to my pharmacy today and asked them if they had any more and they said no they weren't getting any more but that's not what they told me when I went up there so I may have missed getting it because I didn't get up there fast enough. So I'm going to go to CVS later on today and see if I can find me a couple more tubes. Next. Everybody talks about this stuff and I still use it because, excuse me, I have a sore spot right here still. I mean, it's not hurting now because I have Benzodent on it. This is the biggest tube I found, and I'm glad that I found it because I went through, and I'm not kidding, I went through at least, at least seven of these little ones in a month. But I used the crap out of it the first week. So the first week alone, I went through almost three tubes because my mouth hurt so bad and this stuff really worked it made it not hurt anymore now mind you it wore off after a while but at the beginning I was taking my teeth out three times a day and cleaning them and I hadn't had to start putting adhesive on them yet either the first week so after the first week and I had to when I had to start putting adhesives on them to keep them in I um uh, I didn't take them out three times a day. I put the Benzodent in when, like the video I made, I put it in in the morning in the spots that were sore. I wore it all day until it was time to go to bed and then I took my teeth out. So, Benzodent is wonderful. This stuff, I like it. I like it a lot better than I do the uh, cream because this does not leave that yucky, nasty, goopy crap in your mouth. I have not tried it yet with the cushion grip because I'm afraid it won't work. And I don't want it to not work. So I thought about giving this a try tomorrow since I don't have to go anywhere. I had a doctor's appointment this morning. So thinking about trying this stuff tomorrow. I liked it because it did hold really well. But um, like I said, my teeth got so loose I couldn't I couldn't just use this anymore. So next I do not like this Fixident Plus with scope. Do not like it. Um, I used it one time, and you you can see the nozzle's real small. Which I mean that's fine, and it's different than putting it on 
with like the fix it and free that I have, it's completely different. But I did not like this at all. Um, I don't know why it just didn't. I didn't like it. I don't know if it's because it wasn't thick enough or it wasn't doing the job or or what. But I did not like that one at all. So which brings me to this stuff. It is amazing. It is the Fixident Free of Flavors and Colors. Strong all they hold plus food still plus comfort. Oops. Can you tell I'm tired? Look, my eyes are all red and stuff. Um, this does make it feel like, even though the cushion grip's in there, this stuff still makes it feel like there's like a cushion between the cushion grip and my gums. So I really like this one I hate the goopiness still but it's worth it because the stuff holds really well and it doesn't taste nasty and it is it, it is comfortable it, it makes your teeth feel so much better um, I have gone through this is my third tube I can't find the big ones anywhere I don't know where to go I mean I looked at Walmart and they had them because I bought that one remember and then my my kids lost it so Anyway, I like this stuff a lot. I am going to try some Polygrip, I think, next month and see how that stuff works. It might be better than the Fix-It. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. So, we're all just kind of trying to see what works for everybody. And, you know, what works for me now may not work for you guys. So, I mean, this is just my opinion, I guess. But this stuff, excellent. I love it. Next, I have been using this denture cream, and it's mainly because I can't find another kind. It is the Polydent Denture Cream, and it's specially formulated for dentures. Um, I don't use the dish soap. I, I just, I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, I know that Kayla and Jax use dish soap, and um, Shelly uses dish soap. I just, I haven't tried it yet because I just, I don't know. I don't. But I need, I need to know if anyone knows if there's a different kind of denture cream than, yeah, to brush your dentures with. Because I take them out in the mornings now since my kids have started school and my husband's at work. And I let them soak in my stain away. I love this stuff. It is absolutely stinking amazing. Um, not that my teeth are ever really stained, but, you know, if you've had them for a while, like, you know, I'm sure Nisi ain't know where I'm coming from, and Barb, and even Shelly, um, you can tell a difference after a while, so it's nice, because when you soak it in this, all the, because the pink part starts to turn orange and all kinds of stuff, I mean, it's not, you know, orange, orange, I think it may just be in my head, but I can go soak my teeth. For 15 minutes in this stuff and it they're good to go I can put them back in so you know of course you have to rinse your teeth off and all that after you use this but I recommend if you're fixing to get dentures to get this stuff it is amazing I also have though these the polydent three minute soaks I had some overnight whitening soaks and I used them all and I haven't gone and gotten any more I'm going to I'll probably get a bigger box because I don't want to use all my stain away. And that's what I've been using every day is my stain away for the last like four or five days. So, I have started keeping my teeth in all the time. I take them out in the mornings when the kids go to school and my husband goes to work. And um, I do let them soak and clean them and then I put them back in. But I let them soak probably for about an hour or two just to give my mouth a break. And then after that, I, I put them back in. So they're getting more comfortable. They're not as, uh, well, they're comfortable. I'm used to them now. They, they feel like a part of me. I can pretty much eat um, whatever I want. I figured out when my husband took me on our date that I cannot eat lettuce yet. I had I tried to eat a salad at the Italian restaurant that he took me to, and it was not happening. Which, I have a story to tell you all about that real fast. My husband took me out Friday night to, you know, he wanted to surprise me and take me out to dinner. And we were going to go to Bricktown, which is downtown Oklahoma City, and uh, walk the canal and take a canal ride and just kind of look at everything, you know. But we decided we didn't want to go because they were having a rally um, about the uh, riots 
in Mississippi, I guess, or wherever they are. I don't know. I don't watch the news because the news is depressing. I watch the weather, and that's about it. So try not to let the light come in and hurt y'all's eyes. So anyway, we're at Primo's Italian Restaurant, and he got a, a cognac steak, which is oh, so good. It had mushrooms and onions and, and all this other stuff cooked in the cognac, and oh my gosh, that stuff was amazing. I could eat the steak, too, because it was real tender. But anyway, I got chicken parmesan because it's one of my favorite Italian dishes. So to bring it over, and I'm starting to eat, and I'm thinking, I told my husband, I said, you know what, I just have a bad feeling about this. And he said, what do you mean? I said, I should have brought some adhesive with me just in case my top or bottom plate pops out, because if it does, I'm not going to be able to eat. Lo and behold, on my third bite of chicken parmesan, my bottom teeth pop out, and I couldn't eat anymore. I was so upset because it was so good. Oh, so good. And I couldn't eat it because my plate had popped out and didn't have any adhesive. <laughs> my husband's like, I'll go get you some real quick. Walmart's just on the street. I said, no, it's fine. I'll just take it home and eat it later or whatever. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to start taking some adhesives with me when I go out in public because that was, ugh, that was bad. Really bad because I wanted to eat that food. <laughs> so, but anyway, I've kept y'all long enough. Um, that's just kind of the stuff that I, I've been experimenting with, guys. And if you're fixing to get dentures, you know, I just watch Nisi's videos, watch Barb's videos, um, watch my videos. I mean, I documented my journey day by day until about two or a week and a half ago, I guess. I still do videos pretty often, but I don't do them every day anymore. Um, I don't even know what day I'm on anymore. I know I'm coming up on two months. And I'm fixing to be able to go get my first soft realigns. So, I don't know. I still love them. I, I feel like they're a part of me now. I'm just completely used to them. But guys, like I said, check out my videos from the beginning. And um, Nisi had a wonderful video, which is how I knew what I needed to get, and um, I just got some of the things that she said, well, I'm not going to lie, I got most everything she suggested. Um, I almost bought a um, acryline soft, or reline thing at, at the pharmacy today, but I didn't because it was like 25 bucks. I was like, forget that. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to get off here. Um, I hope you guys have a great afternoon. Um, if you've not... Um, commented on my giveaway video do so so that I can add you to the drawing. I'm going to go take a nap because I am so tired I can barely keep my eyes open. I probably shouldn't take a nap but I'm going to because I'm exhausted guys. I am just drained. So anyway y'all have a great day. Um, oh and I wanted to say you know every person I called out for the ice bucket challenge <sighs> didn't do it. You know who you are. Not going to say names, Nisi. <laughs> anyway, but Barb, Barb was sick yesterday, so she couldn't do it, which is fine. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go. Y'all have a good afternoon, and I will talk to y'all soon. Go check out my giveaway video and give me a number. Talk to you later. Bye.